Okay, guess what we're not doing today? <laughs> so I can't you playing outside to be my excuse to not clean my house. So we're gonna take a shower and then guess what we're gonna do? We are gonna get in the kitchen, man. Look at that mess. Oh my goodness, look at that mess. So if you're looking for some motivation, besides the fact that something needs to happen to this, <laughs> stick around. Who knows, I might even find something to declutter. I mean, even the cats, like they're taking over. Look at that puddle. That shows you how much rain we got last night. But I see it's supposed to end at 10. It's only 8.15. Robin went to coffee with a friend, which I'm super happy about. He hardly ever does that stuff. And he's supposed to be back at 10.30. And then we need, we're down to one car. So Yvonne has to be brought to work at like 11.15. We need to leave. And then Ava will have to leave at like 1.40 to bring her to work. And then Ava has to be picked up at 6. And then thankfully Yvonne's going out with a friend. So we won't need to pick her up till 9.30 it's crazy I'm telling you so you know the first thought I ha usually have is where do I even start but I'm gonna start with some easy stuff quick stuff and then move on to more cleaning because once I get stuff out of the way then it's really easy to clean so Yvonne and I did a little tiny Costco haul um, we just got we got raspberries 269 for the double thing Broccoli, a big bag for $5.39. Their box of macaroons, whatever. Mixed peppers, it was six peppers, six sixty-nine. dollars uh, I got some hamburger, or excuse me, steak I was going to use last night, so I'll have to plan what I'm using that. Rao's two pack for $11.89. Rao's, the sauce, and then a bag of mini cukes for $4.89. Brussels sprouts for $5.99. She got some conditioner, two things of conditioner, big, big, huge ones, the Shea. For $8.97. I actually might try that on my hair too. Somebody gave me a recommendation. I need to uh, buy that too. Okay. And it came to $93.90. So it was just like a small haul. So I did have a sore throat and I was expecting to need Kleenex. And then it went away. So that's good. I'll pack that upstairs. And this goes upstairs. And then this I'm putting in my bathroom. Let's get some more light in here. It's so dark today. Ooh, and by my bathroom, I mean the bathroom I use to brush my teeth. It's really like, what? Because I'm downstairs, it's the bathroom people would use when they're visiting us. We also got ugh, two big things of Drano, which I need to use in my bathroom today. And then we ended up getting takeout because I got back so late, but we didn't need the silverware, so I will keep that. That's great when you go like on a picnic or something. You can take plastic silverware. All right how bad I was yesterday. I didn't even put away my pocketbook. So we'll do this little area. I don't even know what this is. Nobody marked it. I bet I, oh, this is mint. Next time I'm just using the fresh leaves. Y'all told me that I don't need to dry it if I'm using it right away. So that was great to hear. My dad husband keeps keeping these out. I don't know why, but this needs to go in the fridge, but this is a serrano pepper that I grew. Ha <laughs> ha, I've gotten I have two jalapenos almost ready to be harvested and a couple more serranos, so that's exciting. This needs to be put away in my bedroom. This, the plate goes on it. I think I borrowed it to use when I was watching my phone and cleaning at the same time, which is what I often do. Oh, these. My husband said he found these in the car. When he was like, I brought them in just in case, but I'm throwing them out because cards, I can get them at the dollar store. And I don't imagine they go to anything. It's so strange. These need to be rinsed and put in the basement. So we'll do that. That doesn't need to be rinsed since it's a water bottle. By the way, this is decaf coffee. I already had my caffeine for the morning. And lately, I just feel this need to be drinking caffeine all day. It's not good. So I'm trying to trick my brain into thinking that I am having caffeine. Some of these I think already got rinsed, but I can't tell which ones were rinsed and which weren't. But I know the store would like them to be rinsed. And in the state of Maine, you get five cents when you return. 
cans and water bottles, cans and bottles. Okay. You pay it when you buy them, you get it back, really. It's what's happening, is you bring that money back. So get this. I'm in a chatty mood today, can you tell? Let me know in the comments if you like. No, don't do a cleaning video with chattiness. Do it with music and speed it up. Let me know. I might do it. I'll do a mix. Okay. I'm going to put them in this just to get them down the stairs. I'm going to put this back with recycling. But my store, I had done a grocery order for delivery. And then yesterday, I get a call. And I knew we had had thunderstorms go through, but we had just kind of heard rumbles here. And apparently they came in in the morning and the electricity had gone off in the night. All of their cold food was not up to proper or down to proper temperature. So they were saying, do you want to cancel the order and do, you know, or do you want to just get the stuff that isn't cold? Well, I appreciate them calling me so much. So I said, no, go ahead and do the stuff that isn't cold and I'll get cold stuff somewhere else. Because they said, we can't even get more cold stuff delivered until tonight and then we have to stock the shelves so we don't i can't tell you how long it will take like for each thing to be available isn't that crazy i felt so bad for them that must have been devastating to walk into the store and be like all that work all that money oh man usually i chuck these down one by one but the can's closed <laughs> and i'm not really feeling like my aim's that great today Feeling kind of achy, maybe from the rain. So we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. That's one reason to have a hot shower in the morning is just to get your body moving again. Help <laughs> you make up creaky. Now I can wipe this down with my favorite scent green glass. And then this spot will be complete. I open my window. When I get moving around, I get hot. It's only 62 degrees outside, although it might be humid, I'm not sure. Enjoy life. Okay. Dirty dishes, so these I could just move out of the way. And clean this area up as well. I wasn't going to do the front of the stove because I was thinking, the oven, because I was thinking, well, that's if I have energy, energy. But you know what? It's going to take me like five minutes. I'm just going to do it. This is what I always use. I like the one they make for glass top stoves too, but I have found all-purpose cleaner and a razor blade. Honestly, it does just about as good. And if it's not shiny enough, you could always follow it up with glass cleaner. So if you have a limited storage, I feel like that's one you could skip. If you have fingerprint 
proof or fingerprint resistant stainless steel. I even feel like you could skip this and just use all purpose cleaner. All purpose cleaner is more all purpose than we give it credit for. We tend to get all purpose cleaner for when we don't need a specific cleaner and then use, um, you know, specific products for everything else. But it isn't as necessary as I sometimes think. I know that. Because there's times I'm in a pinch and I'll use an all-purpose cleaner and I'm like, oh, actually, which is how I found that out about the stove top. And I was like, okay, that's actually not bad. Of course, then I'm going to see that these drawers are filthy because I just bent over. White really does hide a multitude of sins, I'm just saying. You don't see dirt unless you get right close to it. Whereas I feel like black shows everything. I try to be that person who's, I see it, I clean it, but I have definitely let the kitchen go. And the big thing with stainless steel is buffing, making sure the cleaner, that the surface is dry. That helps it not to leave streaks. Was dirty. This is another easy spot to tackle. So I put the food away, put medication away. Gum. Scissors. That stuff. Here in a minute. Necessary, but I bought pledge for the dining room the table and chairs, which I need to do that I haven't done that maybe in the next video anyway um, I'm I definitely don't need to do it here, but it doesn't spray that great But it does make things shiny and It does smell like my childhood. It smells exactly the same They've not changed it and my mother used pledge she loved her woodwork and she used pledge. And so I can remember uh, when she was working in a bank when I was older and she had someone giving her a ride to work every day. She was carpooling and she would quickly be polishing the furniture in the living room while she watched for the person to arrive. She always would, she would get ready a little bit early and then tackle something while she waited. And I tend to do that. If I'm going somewhere, I'll see how many things I can get done before I leave. It's kind of a little game I play with myself. And then you come home to a cleaner house. So I don't tell myself, oh, I gotta have the house clean. It's just like, oh, I'm ready. And my mother always taught me, do what you gotta do, then you have time to do what you wanna do. Well, I do tend to get ready early and then I'll use that extra time before I leave to just kind of buzz around and get a few things done. I also feel like, you know, I'm going to be driving and nothing is close to where I live. So you get a nice rest sitting in the car driving. 
All right, that's gorgeous. So that's done. See how shiny it gets from the pledge? So this is looking good. This is looking good. These I was actually kind of pulling out to see if I had lids that don't go with containers. So this is clean. These are dirty. This is, yeah, that's dirty. Um, this I could put away. And this I could put away. Putting it away helps me not to use it anymore. I really want to get off of it. I was trying to drink cinnamon tea, which is a black tea that has co caffeine instead of coffee. Oh, but I just so miss my coffee that I failed. Okay, dirty or clean? What's our guess? Oh, dirty. And not a lot is going to fit in it. Oh, I should have started here. Oop, I do not. I, you can put your lids on the top rack. I choose to hand wash mine. All right, I'm gonna do this before I wash up the other dishes. And of all my stainless steel appliances, this one is the toughest to not show streaks. And the refrigerator is the easiest one to clean because it is fingerprint resistant. Makes such a difference. But this one, I just have to like keep at it, keep at it, keep at it and buffing. And when it gets like, it'll get water drips and whenever it does, the quicker I get to it, the better, because that's the hardest one to get off, is just when the water has run down. Like I can see right here. And if I don't buff it out, 
then when it dries, like right now, it's wet, so I think it's good, but it's not. I almost feel like next time I go in a store, I'll bring cleaner and test, <laughs> like put fingerprints on and see how hard it is to get them off. Or streaks, I'll make water streaks. One of the reasons I'll do, I'm doing this part first is because I will not do it a lot of times if I get the rest of the kitchen clean and it all looks good, the dishes are done, I will be like, yeah, I'll do the microwave tomorrow. Or I'll do the, you know, the appliances another day. Look at Leo. I love Leo on a rainy day. Even though he's not an outdoor cat, it's like he knows, yeah, not much is going to happen today. If I were to sit down, he would be in my lap for hours. Or until I had to use the bathroom, which is what usually comes first. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes when I get back from the bathroom, he gets right in my lap again. So funny because I would say if you have a cat, you understand, but I'm going to get all the crumbs out of here first. Woozy is not a lap cat at all. He might, if you pick him up, put him in your lap, he might stay there for a couple minutes, but then he's done. He's the gentlest cat. He doesn't scratch. Like the worst he'll do is hiss to tell you what you're doing I don't like. And he might growl, you know, and be like, oh, at you. But um, he would never scratch. Whereas Leo... He's going to give you a facial expression warning, and if you're not paying attention, he will. Usually he'll bite. He'll bite before he scratches, but he will scratch for sure. So I have to be more careful of him when the grandchildren are around. This microwave is probably the easiest I've ever had as far as getting it clean. The outside doesn't look great. Honestly, there's spots I can't seem to buff out, even though it's stainless steel. But the inside, and I got pretty positive I got this at Lowe's. The inside, and what is it? Um, LG. The inside is super easy to clean. I totally... I remember um, our microwave had broken, and so we were going to get another one. We went to Lowe's, totally went by what size is the microwave. That was like 100% of the decision was just getting one that was the size I wanted. I didn't want something too small, but I didn't have room for anything huge either because we definitely use our microwave not as much as we used to i used to cook rice in my microwave but like for fish i love i think a microwave is perfect for fish like haddock oh that reminds me i'd like to have haddock again because i still have leftover of the basil parmesan butter i made if you saw that video i don't make dedicated cooking videos they just don't do well because that's not what my channel is known for. It's not what most people coming want. So what I'll get is those of you who are just so faithful, all my besties that pretty much watch everything I put up if they have like time in their life, which I so appreciate you. Oh my goodness, you're the reason I'm here. You keep me coming back because you keep coming back. So it shows I am encouraging somebody, which is my goal. I want to make your life easier. I want to help you. I want you to see that working through the hard at your own pace is where it's at. Trying to work at somebody else's pace is frustrating, depressing. It makes us feel like a failure for no reason because there's no microwave police that are going to come in and fine me for not cleaning my microwave every time I use it. You know, there's just, we get this idea of what should be happening in our home from I don't even know what. You know, we, we warn young ladies about 
you know, try to measure up to a magazine for their body. But do, don't we do the same thing with our home? We're trying to reach the standard that we have in our head that we've seen in magazines, you know, or we've seen on social media, we've seen it on YouTube. And I know I have definitely fallen victim of it. And it's something I have to be very careful of. So it honestly helps me to be encouraging others who might be having a hard time keeping up or not being able to do everything they want to do, you know, not having the energy we had 20, 30, 40 years ago. It helps me to think of that person who's just like me. And it helps me to make videos to encourage that person because it slows me down too. And then I can step off that crazy train. And it is a crazy train. All right. Now I'm going to get the dishes washed up, including the plate for the microwave. I need to see if I have another towel. I don't know what's happened to all my dish towels. I'm going to go find it's building. So I found myself a towel. Okay, so this is all stuff that I don't put in the dishwasher. Open this window, which I said I was going to do before. I need to remember to clean that window. When you were a kid, you know, these days, you kind of put soap on a rag or a scrubby or something and we clean our dishes. Um, when you were a kid, did you fill a dish pan? You know, you would put, it looked like a quarter size bit of dishwashing liquid, and then you would fill up a dish pan and do the dishes that way. Do you still do that, or do you do what I'm doing now and you're just kind of putting soap on the sponge? I mean, we use so much more soap than we did growing up because that's how I'm doing it. My mother would have never done that, nor would she let me do that <laughs> when I did dishes. So we had three girls, including me, and every night one of us would set the table, no, one of us would clear the table, wait, one of us would set the table, one of us would clear the table, one of us would help mom with dishes, she'd wash, or we'd wash. I do remember washing, so we must have washed, especially when she was working full time because she just was so tired. Um, I And you always wanted to be the, and we would rotate, you always wanted to be the one to set the table because, especially when it was starting to get darker earlier, because you wanted to go, to go outside and play before it got too dark, before your parents called you in. And sometimes the person doing dishes wouldn't get to do that. But I can remember when it was my turn to wash dishes and what my mother would do, she would always rinse everything and stack it nicely. And so if you were clearing the table, that's what you had to do. And she would put certain things in the dish pan. Or maybe we did that, because it doesn't seem like she'd be that messy. So anyway, it would be food on the dishes when it went in the dish pan. And so there'd be food like floating around. Oh my goodness, it made me gag. I couldn't do it. Well, I had to do it. And then oftentimes I would just be complaining, the water's too hot, you know, because she would fill the dish pan. Goodness. So now here I am doing my own dishes without a dish pan. I think that's why. Oh, I could have put that in the dishwasher. Oh, well. I actually fit way more in the dishwasher than I thought I was going to be able to. I did not think all of that would fit, but it did. Now, these, this goes to one of those Rubbermaid for produce keepers, and you can take it apart, I think. No, oh, maybe not. But this part here, and here, I'm always trying not to get water in it. And this doesn't even look dirty. You just clean it because you know you used it, you know? I've 
kind of, I don't usually wash Stanley Cups for people, water bottles. Usually you upkeep your own. But today, because I'm trying to get things super clean, I am going to go ahead, break my own rule, and wash everyone's cups, except my Stanley Cup, because I can't get it open. What makes, they make a seal on it. They think it's hard to open, so I gotta wait for my husband to get home. So you can open my sandwich cup and I can clean it. <laughs> They're not for old people. Not that I'm old, I'm telling you, but by the time I get old, I'm not going to be able to open my own family cup. I see my battery's about to die. So yeah, it's 9 o'clock. I've been doing this for about an hour. I have a straw cleaner. Actually, I have three of them. Tricia, when she cleans her straw, she soaks it in boiling water when she cleans her straw and her salmon cup. So every day, she would soak, she would put boiling water in the salmon cup and then the pieces she would put in a bowl with the water. Very diligent. Oh, this guy's been dropped a few times. This is Yvonne's. I'm thinking this is Ava's. It's not a Stanley. I don't know what it is. These are the ones I got at Costco. You know, I just do the best I can to clean these. So. Having this is definitely a good thing. You notice I'm in comfy clothes. I'm in like pink clothes today. Loose, easy to clean, and I've worried about ruining them. Like I've ruined those cans of bleach. I'm not using bleach. I don't use bleach cleaning anymore. But <laughs> I use them to bleach my pine cones, which, as somebody said, you really didn't bleach them. You just cleaned them, which is true. That I won't do it again. And they were saying that if I would have dried them on the ground for a few days in the sun, then, not that it's sunny out, it's raining. See, then you get this vicious cycle because it's spring and it's raining a lot. But anyways, they would have bleached better. So that is probably dead on. But I don't know if it's worth it. I'm gonna compare, you know, one that wasn't bleached to one that, my battery died. So then I realized I was hungry. <laughs> anyway. I was saying I'm just going to compare one that's bleached and not bleached and see how much I really dig. I, I really don't think it's light enough to go through that, that kind of work. Buy the bleach, have bleach, bleach my clothes. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to get the dishes put away, cleaned off the sink, put away the rubber mains, and then the floor. Also today, not in this video, I need to go through the refrigerator and the pantry and make a list like I did last week. That was great. I did this where I came up with all the meals I could make from what we have in the house. Then I made a small list of just little things I needed to buy. But what I wasn't expecting was that my husband would go to the list every day and help me plan what we were going to have. And so, I want to do this again because it's helping me eat down my inventory and my freezer is definitely emptier. Also, when people, you know, there's only five of us now, I have a really big refrigerator, so if somebody's saying, don't you think we need to go grocery shop, we don't have that much? I would be like, actually, these are all the meals we can make. And then... Things are emptier, but we don't have any snacks. Yeah, we do. You can make that package of brownies I bought. You can make the jello. There's watermelon, you know? So having less helps me remember what we do have, which is awesome. Definitely doing this. And there's stuff we didn't eat. Like we never made Cuban rice and beans. 
So that's helpful too. If you're new here, I want to welcome you. I have so much homemaking content from decluttering to cleaning to gardening, uh, some DIY, you know, decorating, all the different skills, meal planning, all the things we use to keep our homes and make it a place we enjoy being. What was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. Oh, I know. You know how I have said, if you've been around and you're not new, then you'll know that I've been, instead of making to-do lists, I make two joy lists, which I think about what things would I like to do around my house. Ooh, this was underneath there. That would bring me joy. Because cleaning is self-care. Then we get to live in a clean home. It's healthier, but it also helps us mentally. It's mentally healthier. So anyways, today I'm gonna to do something a little bit different than that because I didn't even start with a list. I started with a messy kitchen and I just dove in. So I'm gonna do another thing I like to do that I find encouraging, and that is to make a ta-da list. So a ta-da list is what you do when maybe either you didn't have a to-do list, a to-joy list, or you didn't get through your two joy list. You got maybe you got tired, maybe you got called away, and you can feel a little bad that you didn't get done as much as you think you should have. Then you take a piece of paper, you write ta-da on the top, and you write all the things you did that day. And a lot of times, especially if you got called away, that needs to go on the ta-da list. You know, go and get my daughter's prescription. Take my grandson to school, to the um, to the doctor. You know, whatever. Help my husband with whatever it is he asked me to do that took me away from my list. And it can be super encouraging and just remind you that you actually did get a lot done that day. It may not be what you had planned, but or maybe you didn't feel good, right? But you got a few things done. Put your shower on the list. I took a shower today, you know? Whatever you got done, it shows you how you spent your time. Even if it was self-care things. I got a manicure today. You know, it shows that you, or I rested in color. You know, people make videos <clears throat> about self-care. So, if it's good enough for a video, it's good enough to go on your demo list. I need to clean this window, I forgot. So when we're done here, <coughs> I am Leo, what would you like? Who wants to get in the window now that I've shut it? Of course. Anyway, <laughs> sweet boy. When I'm done with this, I'm going to make a ta-da list. Also, inventorying the kitchen to see what meals I could make did really save me grocery money. Especially since it was an off week where we wouldn't, weren't getting paid, it was a good time to just eat down what we had. 
And obviously, if I bought the ingredients, you know, it's not like we're getting less than because obviously we plan to eat that stuff and we wouldn't have bought it, right? So sometimes I've had to, some days, I've really had to just say, Karen, don't be so spoiled. Uh, may not be what you wish you were having, but it's still good food, so eat it. Because <laughs> I can get in that mindset of, man, there's nothing I feel like eating. Just kind of like looking at your closet and going, there's nothing I feel like wearing, even though your closet's full. Do you want to get in the window, Leo? I just cleaned it for you. <sighs> All right, come on. You can now. Or are you just there to watch me? He's a head booper. He loves to boop. Sometimes if he gets in my lap, I'll be like, you need to give me a kiss. And then I'll go like this, and he'll boop me. But he's not going to boop me now, because he already booped me. And he knows he booped me. He's not going to boot me twice. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's time for the thing. I'll empty the food out of here first so that you don't have to see that. Old food. Okay. Let's see if I can get in there. To joy. Ta-da. Another thing I do, these little net things I get at like Dollar General or the Dollar Store. What happens is melted cheese and stuff gets nasty. So, I mean, they're a couple bucks. I just buy myself a new one when they get nasty. I will put them in the dishwasher, but when the dishwasher stops working on it, I just get a new one. They're not that expensive. Less than a cup of coffee. Less than a Dunkin' coffee. And this, I don't know how often I'm supposed to be changing out the water, but if you've ever wondered if you really can grow green onion, this is the second go round on this green onion. It, they grow really fast. Okay. Am I doing a good job, Leo? Hmm? This guy needs to be watered. My faucet is breaking, so the part that makes it not a stream is what's breaking. I've had it, I got it in 2020, so, you know, things just don't tend to last forever, like I want them to. I don't really need anti-bat, but Yvonne gives me so many, I put it there because it matches. <laughs> oh, this one actually says Kitchen Mandarin, maybe that's why I had that here. Okay, I'll have them both. Somebody doesn't want to wash their hands, they can use that, I guess. Put these away, and then we'll clean the sink. This is the power paste with the scrub. Mommy, I think this is the mommy. Ooh, I'm almost out. It works really well. When I have hard water, well, I don't know, chemicals in the water, whatever. But this crack up here, I feel like gunk can get trapped in there. So. But this is good at taking out any staining I have on the sink. It might scratch it. I don't know. It is scratched. I think it would be scratched either way. See, because sometimes I wonder, is it taking some of the stainless steel off? Because it, it literally goes gray. But it works so good. I don't want to give it up. <laughs> it makes it clean and shiny again. My mother used to use SOS pads on anything that was like stainless steel. Like our toaster, I remember. She would use SOS, which I have used, but I feel like it's such a pain. Because you can only use it once because it's going to rust before you use it again. We have so many more options today. Get a towel and just wipe this down. Oh, 
always when you clean the counter, that's when I'm gonna knock something over. <laughs> it was like, I'm out of here. I don't like it when you make noises. All right, this can go back. Make sure I don't have any others in here. Okay, any that are the Rubbermaid, I know I have the bottoms too, because they're new. So this, they had, they were like um, food storage, don't have them anymore. So this goes with this, and this one is in the dishwasher. And then I do this every couple of months because we get shrinkage and make sure that these fit. So that means this one's trash. it. These are trash. This is what I love about once you have a space decluttered. These. Once you have a space decluttered, then it's just a matter of maintenance. So every month, every couple of months, when you're doing something in that area, you can just hit that area again and And make sure that there is nothing you could get rid of. And then it's never a big job again. These go in the front because these are the ones we're going to reach for first. And I need to pull all of these out, and it won't be in this video, and because no one's up. <laughs> but and just say what I do is I go take the ones you want, whatever's left. Is going that way if people just ignore me and don't do it their water bottle went you know so I have some boxes downstairs I'm gonna have the girls go through and what I'm gonna say is whatever you want I'll put an empty box take out of this box put in the empty box whatever's left in the box at the end of the day goes that way you're not like hey did you go through that box hey did you go through that box I gave you the opportunity I picked a time when I could see you were free and I said take what you want put it in this other box. That way I could just take away the stuff that was in the box and then if you didn't care enough to do that, that stuff went. Oof, is that harsh? It works. I was gonna just spot clean the floor, but then I was out sweeping, I realized just about everything needs to be cleaned, so every spot, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna get out the steamer, I'm gonna get it clean. That's the last thing though, it's the last thing. But you know, you can see. And then this nice little hot spot in front of the trash, you know, ooh, here, right, right there. Come on, Karen, let's just do it.
Okay, I'm gonna show you what it looked like before. And what it looks like now. Stains are gone. Leo's impressed. <laughs> that was him giving you a boop. What was your ta-da list today? Or it's early in the day, maybe, when you're watching it. What was your ta-da list yesterday? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, say it with me. You ready? Ta-da! Feels like, you're so cheesy. <laughs> Remember, as always, that God loves you, and I love you too, and I can't wait to see you next time.